Before you get started, we thought it'd be a good idea to give you a quick heads up on how learning by questions works and what you can expect. So let's get into it. SAT Springboard runs on the award-winning LBQ platform. Essentially, LBQ powers the SAT Springboard, so let's take a minute-ish to explore the three main ingredients. The first element is high-quality curriculum resources. Imagine if you had loads of time to break down the curriculum into each of its objectives and create hundreds of wonderfully engaging and challenging sets of questions, covering the whole of Key Stage 2 for maths and English. These question sets start with the basics, building up the learning towards mastery of that objective. The questions are all scaffolded too, enabling pupils to progress and tackle the more challenging questions independently. The second ingredient, it's the answers. More specifically, it's feedback. Helpful, constructive, immediate feedback that responds to the answers pupils give. Not only does this put a version of you on the shoulder of every pupil, but it also has the effect of building resilience and the confidence to try again. And confidence is key, like you'll see from this perfectly timed moment from Jared. Yes! So LBQ provides the questions. The pupils get help working towards the right answers. What's our third and final ingredient? Well, actually it's you. You see, LBQ was designed to empower teachers. With that in mind, I'd like to introduce you to LBQ's real-time performance matrix. Here, we've got pupils, questions, performance data. Simple, but incredibly powerful, as you can see in the moment. Who needs your help and when? Now LBQ does loads more things like fantastic reading resources and times tables practice activities. It's even aligned to your favourite schemes like White Rose Maths. But your priority, SATs. So let's take a look at that in more detail. You've got an ambitious destination for your pupils. Quite rightly. And before they set off on the path to SAT success, there's a crucial piece of information you need to know. Where are they right now? You'll discover this accurately and regularly with the Springboard Diagnostic Question sets. There are 12 of these in maths and 12 in GPS. Each diagnostic is designed to mirror the weighting of the SAT's content domains. Questions that cover objectives from earlier in the curriculum are given greater priority because they build the foundations for later understanding. You'll see very little Year 6 content in the diagnostics to begin with because it's possible you haven't taught that yet. But as pupils progress, more Year 6 objectives are gradually introduced. Speaking of pupils, what does their LBQ experience look like? Aaliyah is doing the SATS diagnostic. She gets the first question right and receives some positive reinforcement. On question two, Aaliyah gets this one wrong, but you can see that she's received feedback to help her retry and self-correct. So let's have another go, Aaliyah. Well done, you've aced it. This continues throughout, helping Aaliyah move through the diagnostic set with confidence. Want to do some more questions? Yeah! They always do. You'll find that children answer more questions with LBQ than they might with a textbook or worksheet. You'll be covering more ground and much faster. So your class has completed their first diagnostic. But that's just the beginning. Because finding the gaps is one thing, filling them is another. That's what's going to take your class to the next level. So, how do you do that? 
You let LBQ shoulder that burden and you press this button. Now, based on those results, you can see the platform has prioritised three areas that need addressing for the class as a whole. In addition to that, it automatically dives into LBQ's library of resources to pull out three of the most relevant question sets that you can use to address the issues identified. From here, you've got options. You can save these suggested question sets for use in your next lesson, or set them as independent study. Everybody in the list who is ticked receives an additional task that they can work on, either as homework or as a small group revisit supported by me or my TA. James, Lucy and Olivia did well with this question, so you can see that they're untipped. However, you know your pupils better than anyone, so if you think that they could do with a bit more practice, then you can include them in the activity. So we've tackled our issues at a class level, but, and this is the bit that everyone loves, we can also do the very same for every individual pupil. Every pupil has a number of personalised suggestions to fill their knowledge gaps. And for pupils who fly through, LBQ will suggest some extension tasks. You can look at alternative suggestions, choose whether or not to accept a recommended task, set a specific activity to end at a certain time. You're in complete control. Once you're happy with everyone's suggestions, you can set them all with one click. Imagine the amount of learning we've just created here, and all from a single 20 question diagnostic. Don't forget, the work you've set is not just a repeat of something they found difficult. It's carefully scaffolded to build knowledge and confidence. Better still, it's all automatically marked, and you have complete visibility over all the work your pupils are doing. In fact, with your planning and marking sorted, you might just get your evenings and weekends back. So you've run your first diagnostic and set a whole host of appropriately targeted work off the back of it. What's next? Well, you can help yourself to the hundreds of LBQ resources you'll have at your fingertips. Something for every pupil and every lesson. Then, when you're ready, you can run the second diagnostic in the springboard sequence. This subtly but strategically moves pupils on, building on that prior learning and consolidating the knowledge and skills they'll need for the big day. Each diagnostic an important step in your bespoke roadmap for your year sixes. So what are you waiting for?